Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. This is just a bit of a quick fire uh, kind of questions uh, for yourself. Um, in your opinion, who was the best player you played with, uh, club and country? You can do them separately. Wow. Um, start with uh, club if you like. Club. Okay. Uh, look, I was very fortunate. Played with some really good players. And um, at Charlton, I, I played with Paolo Di Canio, who was okay. when he when he arrived when he arrived at the club, he was. 34, 35, something like that. Was it West Ham came from? He, I think around that time. Yeah, he probably was West Ham. Um, but he was always first on the training ground, last one to leave. He was up there in the running. So all the, the, the hard stuff, but then when it comes to the technique, I mean, some of the things he did in training, some of the goals he scored in training yeah. were just outrageous. I can and imagine. He was, he was a difficult customer. He was, he was hard to handle as a manager. He'd be, he'd be tricky at times. But the lads loved him and uh, great energy about him all the time and his skill was outrageous I mean literally outrageous I'd probably go with, with Di Canio as, as the best at club level international level again it's tricky because I played with some world class players I think you know, Robbie you, you look at his goal scoring yeah. record and, and you Duffer. look at some of the goals he's scoring in India oh, at the moment ridiculous and, uh, and an yeah ridiculous uh, Duffer I love Duffer brilliant player but I, I probably would say Roy um, Roy? yeah over Duffer? Yeah, well, I think uh, it, because of the influence that he had okay. on matches and the way the influence he had on on you know, making players better um, and uh, driving teams on, you know, I'm a Man United fan, so you know, watching him play and the way he, you know the way he dragged United to so many titles as well, I probably and even the Juventus, uh, the Champions League when he was going to miss the final as well. Yeah, he was he was outrageous in that and, and did it at, at international level as well. In Portugal, game stands yeah. out. So I'll, I'll probably I'll probably uh, over Mars. <laughs> over Mars when he kicked him up in the air. So yeah, I'll probably say Roy. Okay. Um, what did you feel like uh, was your best attribute as a player? I think I know this one. Um, Do you? I think so. I, I probably well, tell, tell me what you think then. No, no. Go. <laughs> uh, crikey. Uh, I think energy. I think in midfield, but being able to get from box to box, um, popping up with the occasional um, goal. I was going to say long range striking. Long range striking, yeah. A lot of people say that. I, I think I probably scored the majority of my goals from outside the box. Yeah. I, I would have said. Well, I'd say the majority. A, a fair few, anyway, from, from outside the box. You were an Everton fan, aren't you? Yeah. I scored a few at Everton. I've seen Goodison. your post on Instagram. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, I didn't uh, know you. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Uh, Goodison Park, I seem to enjoy as well. I scored a few from outside the box okay. there. So. Is it one of those things with, with grounds that you score on? You think I'm going to come back there? Uh, yeah, you do, actually. You, you, I mean, Everton was always a ground I, I good memories of and, and as a team actually we won there with Ipswich 3-0 and this is probably my, one of my favourite memories actually at club level um, we won 3-0 and the Everton fans all stayed and applauded us off the pitch after the game really that's one of my favourite memories as a club player that's right that's not real <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, your favourite uh, piece of memorabilia you have from your career now I'd say from some of the games and some of the stuff you did like I'd say you've got some uh, and I did see a picture I think it was Diddy Hallam with your jersey yeah um, we should talk shares. jerseys after, but uh, memorabilia. Memorabilia. If you had a, a, a favourite piece, uh, my caps. I've got them in uh, a cabinet in my in my study, all in a glass oh, okay. cabinet, all lined up year, from each year. So they're they're pretty special to me. Um, I I was also named in the Hall of Fame at Ipswich Town, and I've got a, like a glass trophy, Hall of Fame trophy. So that's that's a nice nice piece of memorabilia. Uh, but the caps, the caps probably. And what about the was it the the captain's one as well? Captain's armband. Yeah, I've got the captain's armband from the Scotland game and, and the pennant that, that yeah, we swapped. That was the way we were. That's the word I was looking for earlier. In the other video, which you can see. Yeah. Uh, so I've got the uh, the the pennant from that game. Um, so yeah, I've got some some nice things really from from the time playing. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, and then his shirts. You wanted to ask about shirts. Yeah, yeah. No, I was getting to that now. Um, just uh, what if if you had a favourite shirt? I was, again, like I'd say you have. Did you ever shop swap shirts with Zidane? No, no. I see. I I was. I wasn't somebody. Were you, were you into it? I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't overly desperate. Yeah, I'd, my lads would would say get such a shirt. Young fellas, yeah. Yeah, okay. so get get such a shirt. Get such a shirt. Um, so I've got a few, got a few, but I wasn't mad for it. Some some players were. I mean, we, yeah, we played, I don't like that. You know, even at half time, people swap just that. that it doesn't. Mean, I don't like it either. And, and I actually had a right go at Titus Bramble once. Okay. We were playing. We were playing Inter Milan in the UEFA Cup, and 
about 10 minutes to go, and we were 4-1 down at the time, so we're getting, we're getting knocked out, and, and he basically followed Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo, okay, yeah. around the pitch. So when the final whistle blew, he'd be right next to him so he'd get his shirt, and I was giving him all sorts of grief about it. Um, so I had, a, I had a go at Tizers about it. So I wasn't really a mad one for, for swapping shirts, but I did swap a few. Would, got, would, would you have been one of those who wait till you got, got approached for it, or? Uh, unless, unless it was one that like the boys said to me, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I actually, Van Nistelrooy, I got Van Nistelrooy shirt. Cause we, well, Man United? United? We, Man United fans, and Dutch one. Okay. And then we played. Was that from uh, Lanza? We, we played. Uh, yeah, I think it was. We okay. played. We played United at Old Trafford, not long afterwards. And he asked for my shirt. Okay. And I was like, huh? "This is it, Twitter child." This was. I'm. I'm thinking probably Charlton. I'm, okay. I'm thinking. I'm, I, and I was thinking, "What's all my shirt for?" He, this is Van Nistel. What's he asking me? And he, and then, uh, he went the name Holland. Oh, okay. So he wanted, he wanted the, the Holland shirt. Uh, Mark Vivian Foe from the Cameroon game. Yes, he passed away for us. No long, no longer with us anymore. And um, so yeah, got a, got a few. So between um, got a Rooney one, got a Rooney one. Oh dear, yeah. yeah, from Everton. Oh, okay, a Rooney uh, Everton eighteen. One. So he would have been yeah. No Rooney eighteen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, is it the Kejian one? Ooh. I think it's got like a Chinese. Well, this is I've only got the back showing. It's on my son's wall. That it probably is that one. I don't know. Cause he, uh, yeah, it would have been because he left the next season. Is it? So, yeah. Is it? It's got a white collar on it. I have no idea. Oh, right. <laughs> <Just, laughs> because no you've got Rooney, Van Nistelrooy, and uh, Mark Foley. Yeah, here. Didi Hamal. I've got one. Uh, who else? Vieira. Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira. So yeah, I got I got a few, but I didn't. I, I wasn't I wasn't a mad one for it. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't dare approach Roy for one. No, never. <laughs> Did he ever ask you? No. No. I thought you would have. No. <laughs> um, well, that's been a, a quick fire questions that people uh, had asked. Uh, a few questions, just a, a short little video on that one. Don't forget to check out a uh, big video that we had. Uh, brilliant chat all about um, Matt's career and international career as well. Uh, absolutely fantastic uh, to have you on, Matt. Pleasure. Um, man. Thanks love to have you on. Yeah, if you're over in Ireland or anything, please drop into us or let us do something for you anyway uh, in return. Thanks Appreciate very much. It. Thank you. Thanks for that.